What's up guys, The Buyers here, bringing you my second uh, completely in form squad. I uploaded the first episode or first team of this yesterday evening um, and it got 200 likes almost instantly which I'm extremely grateful for so thank you for all the likes that that got and uh, once again thank you to UK Cam uh, HD who supplied the teams. Uh, he's well known for making full informed squads so if you haven't already checked out his channel and subscribed to him then please do so the link to his channel will be in the description of this video so as you can see then the first team we already have looked at was the all informed Premier League squad and now we can see there is a hybrid squad which contains Serie A, Liga, Bubva and the Premier League players so um, <clears throat> this is a much stronger squad than the Premier League one in my opinion uh, and the rating overall I'm pretty sure uh, can't remember the rating for the Premier League but um, starting in goal then we've got um, Xavi Varas I think that's how it's pronounced a J in Spanish is an H so it should be Javi Varas actually my bad um, the, he's only a 79 rated goalkeeper so non in form I'm guessing he's about 77 or 78 and he did cost Cam 15,000 um, in the defence then we do have a silver player uh, but I'll come on to in a minute first of all Glenn Johnson then he's 83 rated and he was bought for 83 which is pretty expensive for an 83 rated uh, right back uh, his stats aren't too good however his pace is contributing to that high price 88 pace for a defender is pretty good um, then we've got Nano then from, I don't know where he's from, Levante, Levante. Um, again he costs 13,000 which is pretty cheap uh, to be honest for a silver in form and then we've got Domizi from Udinese I think that is, uh, yep Udinese which costs 25,000 and then finally we've got Nagatomo, uh, the, Jap the Japanese player from Inter Milan, uh, one of two from Inter Milan I believe no, it's uh, AC Milan, we've got two players from, he costs 30,000 so it's a reasonably cheap defence uh, considering uh, taking out sorry Glenn Johnson who did cost 88,000 and then if you move, move on to the midfield then I'll start on the right hand side we've got Johnson from City who cost 57,000 uh, that is pretty cheap again he's better overall ratings better than Johnson however he's a lot cheaper which just shows how expensive Johnson is um, and then we've got Xavi Alonso in form who's 185 I think he might be the most expensive player and look to them all uh, yeah 185 most expensive um, well then again look at his stats part Passing 88, which is pretty decent. That's the only major good stat he's got, in my personal opinion. So, uh, tackling, what's his tackling? Defending 80, which is not too bad. Then we move on to Higuain from Real Madrid, which costs 73,000, which is extremely cheap um, for 86. However, these prices do vary con considerably, and I don't know when he bought these players. They all may have been bought at the exact same time, or they may have been bought all differently. Then we've got Nekarino, uh, Nocarino, sorry, from Milan. Again, 37,000 for the 82 rated. Then we've got Boateng from AC Milan again, uh, who cost 95,000. So, um, I can't remember what I just said Xavi was actually uh, 185 yeah so they're not ex they're not expensive it's not an overly expensive squad how it's not the cheapest and then we've got Falcao up front from Atletico 88 rated overall and he's 170,000 um, although looking at his stats he is pretty good heading 88 shooting 86 dribbling 83 all decent stats and then as you can see in the, we've got likes of Soldado Alvarez from Milan again who's this here Santa Cruz uh, Rami here so all, all of these informs uh, can be switched for example Soldado can replace Falcao up front and whatever you want to do to it so uh, I do prefer this squad personally from the uh, over the <coughs> Premier League squad uh, I don't know about you guys I know a lot of you will be saying that uh, some players were overpriced some were bought cheaply uh, I know the episode I uploaded just a lot of people were saying um that I overpaid but if you listen this isn't my team is cams so please do check out his channel the link to his channel will be in the description below I know a few of you went over to his channel from the video yesterday which is appreciated he was very thankful for that so if you didn't check his channel out then I do recommend doing so and again if you did like this team uh, please do drop a like if we could beat the 200 mark again that would be absolutely amazing and uh, maybe put a suggestion in the comment section below what informed team you would like uh, to see next and I can have a word with Cam and see if we can get that video uploaded for you so um, please do as I said just drop a like and drop a comment on what team you would like to see in form and until my next video I'll speak to you guys later take care